Let's look at subtraction with regrouping or trading. Before we start our vertical algorithm though, if we had 14 minus 8, we could think of 14 as 110 and 4 units. And then what we want to do is subtract 8 units or 8. But if we do that, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, we don't have enough units to subtract. But we can actually think of trading that 110 for 10 units. Ah, it's the same value. It's just made up of 10 units instead of 110. Now we can continue our subtracting. Well, we've already subtracted 4. Let's keep going. 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can see if we actually remove them as well, which is what you'll do if you're using blocks in real life, we've got 6 left. So 14 minus 8 equals 6. Now we're going to use that strategy in our vertical algorithm. A vertical algorithm is just a series of steps down our page. We write our numbers underneath each other and we have to line up our tens and our units places. So we write the number that we've got to start with, which is 23, first. And we write that at the top. We've got two tens and three units. And you'll see I've also put my models there. And that's going to help me in a minute. Now what we're doing is subtracting five. So we write that number underneath there and we need to make sure we put our subtraction sign in. And then we're ready to start working it out. Now we always start from the far right, which is the units place in this example. Three units minus five units. One, two, three. Ah, at the moment, I can't subtract five from three. So I'm gonna use the trading that we did before. I'm actually going to trade one of my tens for 10 of the units. So let's move it over there and then trade it for 10 of the units. So we need to change our numbers now that we wrote. We don't have two tens anymore. We've only got one 10, but we have more units. So our 10 has just moved to the units place. Instead of three units, we've got our original three plus that 10 there. So altogether, 13 units. So now we can carry on. Remember, we start from our units place. 13 minus 5. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we take 5 away, we've got 8 units left. So that means 8 goes in that place right there. Then we move left to our tens place. 1, 10, and we're not subtracting anything. So we still have 1, 10 left. If you had more digits to the left, you keep moving left. But we don't. So we've actually finished. 23 minus 5 equals 18. Now we've got a larger number here. This time we've got a two-digit number minus a two-digit number. Remember, we start with the number that we have as our total, 62, and we subtract 27, so we write that on the line underneath. Now let's use our models again. We use the model of the total we're starting with, six tens and two units, and we need to take away 27. So remember, we start from our units place, 2 minus 7. Well, we can't actually do that, can we? So what we're going to do is we're going to do some trading. Let's trade one of those 10s for 10 of the units. So in our 10s place, instead of 6, we've got 5, and we're going to put 10 units there. So we don't have 2 units anymore, do we? Instead of 2, we've got 2 plus 10, which is 12. And now we can work out our subtraction. In our units place, 12 minus 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, leaves us with 5 units. Then we move left to our tens place. 5 of the tens minus 2 of the tens. So we cross those two out or remove them and there are 3 tens left. So our answer is 3 tens and 5 units or 35. 62 minus 27 equals 35.